The interactive operating concept begins with the installation. The installation is guided. The initialization and settings are confirmed. In addition, we have a comprehensive fault and warning management system. Faults and warnings are shown on the display, for one thing, and for another, by LEDs on the front, which light up red for faults and yellow for warnings. The position of the LED gives an indication of the error. The initial state is signaled by a white main LED. This white main LED, as we see here, this signals that it's ready for operation, and so that I can see directly whether the motor is now switched on or not, it indicates that status too, with a green main LED. And on the display I can even see which direction the motor is running in, in this case, to the right. The device monitors its peripherals all the time and gives us various warnings of fault signals if it detects something. Warnings are purely informative. Faults lead to the device switching off. For example, let's suppose that your power supply has failed. The main LED is yellow. This is a visual indication of the warning status, and you can see that the casing is also illuminated. In this case, there's an overvoltage affecting the control plug. That's why it's lighting up at the top of the case. Another variable that we monitor with this device is the temperature. We measure the maximum temperature at various points in the device. And if critical values are exceeded here, we want the customer to be notified at an early stage, so he can take the appropriate measures in time. It's lighting up both above and below, because the whole device is affected. With a motor starter, we also monitor the motor current, and if it falls below a critical value, I get a visual signal at the lower end, because that is where the load plug for the motor feeder is located. The most critical case that can occur is a short circuit at the load. This is where the device shows its strength. We switch off the short circuit safely in 8 microseconds. The device then notifies us in following manner. The main LED lights up red, and on the display I see the dedicated fault description, showing a short circuit. If I press this main button, I even get detailed instructions on how to fix the fault. The suggested action is check motor cable. When the customer has remedied the fault, this can be confirmed by pressing the main button for two seconds, then operation can be resumed. The C14 device can be connected to a laptop via a USB cable. That allows various settings to be made. There are export and import functions, so that configurations can be saved and uploaded to other devices.